I wanted to share this with you. Um, I've been working on a new project called Big Frida. Uh, one of my favorite producers, Mike Omega, is just putting his foot into these uh, productions. The EP is about to come out. Uh, I'm going to play you a keyboard part that I, I, I struggled to find a spot for it in, a, uh, in the mix. I can't play the mix for you yet, but you'll see it on, on Spotify and Tidal real soon. Um, here's here's what, I was, what, what I was given. So I widened it a little bit with uh, the Ozone Imager, beautiful, beautiful plugin. Now I'm 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 paralleling into my effects. Uh, some of you guys um, might not yet have been doing this long enough to understand when you put things on the sound itself and when you parallel into it. When you put it on on the on the information itself, for example, here's the track that we're um, that we're working on. And if you put it on this track, these plugins, it's a, it's a whole different sound. And to me, I don't have the control I have. So I'm more often than not, if I'm putting an effect on something, I'm paralleling the effect, uh, particularly reverbs and delays and things like that. Now, what I've decided was I needed a little bit of chorus. And chorus is, is, a, is, a, is a cheap way to get a little bit of a doubling effect, makes things... A, a, um, a little more interesting. So here we go. Okay, that's the part that we're doing. I'm going to get you located here. Really cool part. I can't wait for you to hear it in the song. Here's with the um, the chorus. Now this this is by Akon. It's called Multiply. This is I think this is still a free plugin. I know when I got it, it was free, and I believe it's still free. It, it gives it the ability to take over the little space it was designed to be in. It's designed not to be a feature part. It's, not, it's designed not to be a pad or something like that. It's designed to be a rhythmic part. It's got a big rhythmic component to it. But yet it's also got a harmonic component. So let's, let's see what else we can do. This plugin at one time was free also. This is a plate, a really good plate by uh, Sound Toys. And then I'm a big fan of modulating the tails of reverbs, particularly digital reverbs. Why, you say? Well, reverbs in the 70s and 60s were mostly made of a lot of delays, and to smooth the, those delays out and turn them into a, a reverb that the ear and the brain determined as a continuous sound, modulation was used to mask that issue. And so it, it made things smoother, and it was harder to detect the individual delays, but it's a sound that we all grew to like. And so here's a little modulation. Without it, with it. You know what, Nico? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this on some vocals. I bet that would be great on vocals. You know, it could be good on everything. Maybe not percussive things so much. Maybe it might be. I don't know. Check it out. Let me know. <laughs> 